Dear Americans, this is your prophecy, prophesied by this author named John Neven. This book is about the future, your future in the year 2026. And I, Marissa, is here to decode your future based on this prophecy, not fully because you have to venture into this prophecy yourself. It's easier to understand because it's written in English. I wonder, what would you do the moment you know you don't have much time to live in this world? As for me, I will do what needs to be done, like by settle my loan so that I don't have to trouble the, yeah, my loved ones, and I will do what I like, like traveling. Some people say they want to, they will involve in some charitable activities and also to to make up with their past yeah there are so many things then there are few people like frank brill in this book woman he knows that he has cancer and he doesn't have much time to live in this world he he jot down the list of names that he think or him that he thinks responsible for his loss for his misery over the death of his wife son and daughter while i was reading this book i learned that when you vote a candidate to be the next president or in my in my country to be the next prime minister mini, prime minister the repercussions is not only within that five years it will be more than that it's me to read something about Frank Braille, who was the law-abiding citizen, but be the murderer. The, the list of names that he, that he wants to murder is what he thinks is responsible for the deaths of his son, his wife, and his daughter. And Frank Braille successfully killed each of the person that is in his list before he died, before he passed away. Read this book. You have to be neutral. If you are so Trump supporter, I don't think this book is for you. Even if you are not that Trump supporter, if you are more of the left wing, something like that, what you Americans say, this book is also, I don't know, not for you, but read this at your own risk. That's all I can say. I'm Malaysian, I don't have, I don't know how much of the impact that this book will cost to you. Plus, election time is around the corner. It's, I think, around November. I'm not sure. But yeah, read this book at your own risk. And this book, I think, subtly tells me that what will happen if the current president re-elected. There will be so, sort of acts, which is, well, the confirmed one is the abortion will no longer... There will be more freedom of firearms, you know, for the Americans to have their own firearms, to have their own guns without requiring identification. And also the wall in America to, to prevent the Mexicans from entering America. And also some act, some regulations that will come to life if the current president remains to be your president such as extreme patriot act yeah, which prohibits prohib citizens from taking a photograph of government installation like the moment the, the cops caught you taking a picture or recording the events of someone getting arrested or any anything that has to do with the gov government in the installation the authority to ask for your smartphone and you this office also will ask the password to your social media so that yeah to prevent you from posting what you what you have recorded for direct to prevent that der derogatory narrative something like that something that the the government like to me the Malaysian I don't have problem with that because I I don't record things and I don't talk against my poly politics and I was I'm with that I don't have problem with abortions because more about this book but this book is 
is more about what will happen to America if the current president is re-elected. Yeah. I well disclaimer, I have nothing against President Trump, like nothing. In fact, I love his books, especially the art of of the deal and I respect him as the businessman and investor. Yeah. I have nothing against your presidents if you're Americans who are watching this. I have yeah, I have no I have, I have I have nothing against him as well as I have nothing against the other politicians from other country as long they are not they are not like Hitler so like I'm okay and yes I wish I can tell more about this book but yeah like I mentioned just now this will be your future <laughs> to the Americans <laughs> but and this book is a fiction book it's a non futuristic dystopian book with political satire i just love anything with political satire i just enjoy it and while i was reading this book this book kind of reminds me of the other book that i have reviewed in march which is siege trump under fire by michael wolf which i will put the link to that particular booktube in my description box down below so guys if you reached this far thank you so much for your time in watching this video don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the icon bell down below so that you guys can get notifications of my new videos so see you guys in my next video bye